Hey guys, today there has been an update to the Insta360 app, which brings a new layout to the app. Some of the editing features have moved around, but also there's been some additions. There is a new AI feature which has been upgraded and allows you to press one button to edit your videos much faster than reframe. Just that, there's also been a new feature called movements, which adds a series of pre-built in camera movements, which you just need to tap and press and and these will be added to your video. So, so I think this is basically a way of simplifying the editing process, which can be quite difficult. So let's get into it. Let's see what this new Insta360 app update brings. Okay guys, so here we have the Insta360 app, which has just recently today been updated with a kind of new layout. So we're gonna show you basically first what this new layout is and then go into some of the specific changes and additions that we have. But basically the layout is mostly when you select a video and um, in the editor. So if I select any random video, oh, you can see where this is. Um, I was recently somewhere very cool in a very cool time at Paris for the Olympics. So this is a time-lapse video that I created near the Eiffel Tower. Very cool, right. Previously, there was a kind of um, row of options here at the bottom, and it basically had all of the options for editing. Now, I think Insta360 has tried to simplify it somewhat and trying to group some of those things together. So we have here at the bottom first, we have the um, cut the trim tab and jump cut, which is actually the same as it was before. So you can just trim your videos there. Jump cut, you can delete a, a, a middle section of your video. This star button is new. It allows you to add the video to your favorites, which basically just highlights this in the previous tab. Now we go to this middle button here, which kind of looks like an editor button. And this is actually where a lot of the new editing features are. So if I tap that, that brings up these options here. Now, these options were before kind of in the editing tab right away but now they've been grouped here, so I guess just to make the layout a little bit more streamlined. We can see here they're ordered, I guess, kind of logically. I think the recommended ones are usually the ones you use the most, so this is what I've been using the most, but so we go down, we have the speed option, increase the, or decrease the speed, freeze frame, which only works with slow motion. Now you can see some of these are not, are filtered out, now this is because some of the options are only available when you use uh, or when you shoot in 5.7K, basically it depends on the resolution, but this is an 11K time lapse. So those super high resolution videos, the color plus, clarity plus and adjust tab will not be compatible with that, but I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. <clears throat> so here I've selected a different video, which is just a normal 8K video, and, and you can see some of these options are now accessible. We have stats, which is accessible, motion, ND, and multi-view, so these will work with the full 8K videos, but some of the other ones will not. So this is where a lot of the new editing options are in this middle tab here. That there's, we also have the download button and the delete button. Now the, uh, now the other editing options are available when you tap this plus key, which is a keyframe. Now you'll notice here there is a, um, a new key or a new option called movement. Now I will go into what that is in a minute because this is a new addition to the app which allows you to kind of automatically add movements rather than doing reframing manually but we'll go into that in a little while. And we have here the other options like viewfinder using the gyroscope in your camera, in your phone, sorry. Deep track which allows you to track a specific object for a certain amount of time or for as long as it will I guess do it. Let's see if it sticks to this. See, oh, just about, yep, there we go. So that is basically a run. So that is the new layout of the Insta360 app. It's basically almost all the same editing options. There are a few additions which I'll go into, but yeah, most of the editing options are now located in that middle tab there, which is where you'll find them. So I've selected here a video shot in 5.7K, so not 8K, and we can see here that, there we go, some of the color options are now available. We can adjust everything from exposure, temperature, 
contrast so we can do some quite a lot of color correction to improve the look of our video and just at the moment this is not available for 8k videos only sh video shot 5.7k or below really hoping that insta360 can update the app soon to be able to do that because that would be very useful indeed but now let's go on to look at some of the new editing options or the new features in the app Okay guys, so the first new addition to this Insta360 app update is uh, improved AI functionality. Now, go into a video and select the AI tab at the top and then just tap that middle button and the AI will process and work out what uh, it thinks is the best kind of video. It's a one button edit, you, all you need to do is press that button and it will create these kinds of videos. Now this works better for moving videos where there's a uh, kind of more action like here on a motorbike. It, these are very simple movements, but if you just wanted a quite simple video, then this is a much faster way than reframing. You can also go in and then edit the video once it's the AI has worked it out. So you can select the different views that it finds. It will detect whether a front facing view, rear facing view, uh, focusing on a person, focusing on the scenery, and you can decide which one you prefer. You can also go in and add your own music. You can, uh, bearing in mind that these are not copyright, so just be careful if you're using them on YouTube, but there's a whole load of different themes and music you can select with titles. So this is just a much quicker way to create a very simple edit of your videos, particularly, yeah, if you're doing something like on a bike or skis, something moving or walking around a city, creating, you know, a travel vlog. It's not going to be perfect. These are quite simple movements, quite simple, I guess, reframing features, but it's much quicker than using the manual editor. We can have a look here at another one I edited. This is again attached to a bicycle. I had a bit more movement, but I didn't do any of this editing. This was all automatic. And I think it does a half decent job. Obviously, if you wanted more control, then you would need to go into the editor. But if I was just wanting to create a quick travel vlog, then this would be a very, very easy way. The AI has definitely been updated. It's definitely smarter than it was before. And it just has a more dynamic movements. As you can see, these kind of flips and twists, the AI definitely could not do this before. So yeah, for a quick editor, quick way of editing which is the downside one of the downsides of these cameras is it can take a long time to edit this makes that whole process a lot faster and you can trim the videos you can you know select the best parts the parts you don't want to include so you know you do have some manual control as well once the AI editor has finished processing so the second major addition to this app update is in the pro tab and you'll find at the bottom, once you click on pro, there's a new option called movements. Once you tap on a keyframe, you can see this option here, movements. And this is once again, a faster way of editing. This automatically applies the most popular kind of movements or reframing features that people use. So spins, twists, zooms, these will automatically add these to your video without you having to move the camera, um, you know, with your finger and tap the reframe button. These will add them automatically. So once again, it's just a way to make editing your Insta360 videos more streamlined, quicker, and, you know, less of a learning curve because it can get a bit complex. Now, these are once again quite simple movements. If you wanted to do more advanced stuff, if you wanted to create the kinds of effects that some people create on, it, on Instagram, still gonna require quite a learning curve. And if you are interested in learning those, then check out my Ultimate Insta360 video course. That will teach you everything you need to know about advanced use of your Insta360 camera, creating more unique shots. But for simple edits, for zooming, spinning, um, tiny planets, the, as you can see on this skiing video, it does a pretty good job of showing the scenery. Um, you can also use them on still videos where, you know, you want to explore the landscape, you want to explore the architecture around the camera, making full use of the 360, uh, 360 video to, you know, explore everything around you. This is probably now the easiest way to do that with these smooth panning motions automatically applied in this movement tab. So it's not perfect. There is, I guess, a limit of, to what you can do. They're quite simple. 
but um, you know a lot of people don't need super advanced shots straight away this is a great way to get started with your insta360 camera to create some travel vlogs to create some instagram posts or tiktok if I didn't have time to edit a really long video, I just wanted to show people where I was. Using these pre-built in movements are, is gonna be way quicker than manually reframing. And finally, if you go into the Shot Lab tab, there are a few more of these built in effects that have been growing now for a long time. There's literally like 20 or 30 of them now. Some of them are a bit more difficult to actually achieve, but some of them are quite easy if you follow the, uh, the in introductions, the explanations, tutorials that are included. And yeah, there's been a few more of these added. So once again, just trying to make editing as easy as possible. But no matter what they do, no matter what, it's going to be better. But no matter, but, but if you, but if you want to get the absolute most out of your Insta360 camera, then it is definitely worth learning the advanced techniques because you can get some truly amazing shots by, you know, learning how to reframe properly and how to shoot properly and edit. So, yeah, um, that's it, guys. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions about this update or how to get some more advanced shots, then please feel free to comment. Um, yeah, so let us know how you get on and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.